all things must pass, George Harrison. Great freaking record. Phenomenal record. Just hit it on Patreon all the way through. It's a double album. It's lengthy. It's amazing. Start to finish. Go on Patreon. It's less than a cup of coffee. There's going to be a link in the description. Album's out now along with a back catalog of, I mean, at this point, over 50 albums probably. Hundreds of reaction singles that you can't get here on YouTube either because they block or it's just cool content on there. Go check it out if you want to support us, support cool music, less than a cup of coffee. Link in the description. On to the video. All right, guys, we're here. Alex claims to have not heard this song. I don't know if I believe that. I think you probably heard the chorus, but the big point is I say the words, come on, Eileen, and you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, no, I mean, it sounds like a bad porn search. <laughs> Honestly accurate. And there's a little yeah. bit of provocative nature to the song, so that okay. could... It, it's definitely tangential. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm excited, dude. I have not heard the song, but we've got a lot of comments for it. Dude, let's freaking get into it.
Dude, I'm trying to hear every bit of that. Right? Dang. It was on for like 20 more seconds. We leave you oh, all yeah. fly in the night Just like fairy gifts gone in the sky I forgot about that part, dude. I was like, what are these like 20 more seconds for? That's got to be an album Jeez. thing, right? Like they probably put that in there because they're like, oh, we have some stuff oh, that you want. Feels almost like the Joe Walsh, like the Funk of Wine ones, but like way less off the rails than that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. How'd you feel about that song? Uh, for one, I, the there was a recognizable part, but it was not the chorus. Okay. It was just was that beginning when the yeah. when the stuff came in, like when the instruments first came um, in. The, bon, oh, don't. Uh, uh, da, like whatever the, mm. the thing was yeah yep. that, I think I've seen that in like some commercials but just the instrumentals of it mm. uh, vocals were incredible are they like a, an so Irish band or a Scottish band I have no freaking clue but they are like one hit wonder this this song just blew up because it sounds like they're using like Gaelic type instruments like uh, the the violins or whatever and mm. then maybe some accordion and some banjo uh, whatever yeah. it was it was like just so eclectic good. enough that, that I, was, I honestly thought like there's probably five bands ever who were would have or could have written this song just yeah. by manpower alone like you have yeah. to have like a keyboard player a violin player and a banjo player and a guitar player and a singer just to even be in the ballpark yep and it's and it's also the songwriting is still extremely like pop centric yes at the same time yeah the pre-chorus is insane how like, it builds up and the drums go like freaking what were they saying insane. like right, ooh, right, whatever they were yeah saying? it's almost like make like they're not saying like do ride me but they're taking like those and mm. the different combinations of that and just okay. like walking up and yeah, his voice is perfect for that. It was great. Off it was the bat, great. What what would you rate this? A plus. Okay. Dang. I so, would potentially go S. I but I don't know anything about the song. I don't know what era it's in. I will. This feels quintessential. It's S. This feels quintessential. Because <laughs> I was like, this is definitely something that now that I've heard it will forever. Anytime I walk into a Marshalls, I'll, I'll be like, this should be playing instead. You know. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You want to say something crazy about the era this came out? Okay. This is the eighties, baby. This is the so 80s. I probably could have guessed that. Yeah. Dude, like, it's all... it's Because they say funky voices. They either do weird mm. shit in the track or they say funky voices. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. also could be an accent. So if so, sorry. <laughs> it's very, like, throwback at the same time, too. But, yeah. Like, crazy. Remember that stuff coming out at the time? And yeah, it's it such a freaking classic, too. Like, I'm surprised you haven't heard this. Just the fact that you've been to bars. I mean, I've heard the beginning of it. But I'm saying, like, the fact that you haven't seen an entire bar sing this together. I think you mistake me for somebody who has a full bottle of alcohol next to them instead of an empty one. Um, Usually I'm drunk at bars. If I'm at a bar, I'm intoxicated. I wonder if you sang to the song, didn't even know you did, because you were intoxicated. At a there's bar. no way, because I'd remember the yeah, words, because yeah, I'm a good showman. Because sure. I'd remember, I'd be like, there's this part where I pointed and did, like, a thing. <laughs> exactly. Dude, this is one of the most fun reactions recently, like, in terms of, like, 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 a music share. Oh, of, yeah. Like, I was legit smiling so much. I, I know the song. I, I, had such I a good knew time. you'd freaking love it. It's it, you cannot. I love the not instrumentation. Be happy. It was just such mm -hmm. good choice of instrumentation and so eclectic. Like again, this was something that I don't think there were too many other people or groups or whatever who could have one not, not just pulled it off, but even considered it to be an option on the table. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously. I, I and I, I just knew you would dig it. And especially once, like, I knew you were already sold on the song, and the the breakdown part hadn't happened yet, and I was like, Alex yeah. is gonna freaking that breakdown love was awesome. I'll it tell you this: down and builds up. Bridges can suck. Like bridges, sometimes I think are ju people just put them in sometimes just because they go, oh, there should be a bridge here. We got to cross the three or four minute mark. But yeah. this felt like they were just like, no, it felt like exactly you describe it as a bar song. Yeah, that's what it's for. It's for people to like. I have like a, a, a pitcher of beer that they shouldn't be having with their friend who they shouldn't be seeing on a night that they shouldn't be out. And this is the backing track. No, seriously. And the breakdown also goes very well with the storyline of the song. Like the whole point of the song is like, come on, Eileen. It's like basically like, let's have sex. Essentially is, is the whole point of the song. Yeah. It's like you wear that dress. I must confess. Like I have thoughts and they verge on dirty. They verge on dirty. But he says, he's like, dirty. But the verge like, on, I think, bro. is so good. Oh, yeah. for, for sure. And then, so, like, he's, like, had his grand gesture moment. He's had two choruses. Goes to the breakdown. He, he, it's just like, come on. Come on. It's like he's, like, he's really just like, okay, like, I'll bring it back. Like, but for, like, for real, though, like, we had this moment, and I'm going to build it up right now. I got a drummer who's, he's, he's, he's ready. He's back me we, up. We plan this up. He's the and wingman. Like, the drummer's the wingman. Dude, for fucking sure. <laughs> the way he leads you into the chorus, like, it's like, how can you say no? Like, <laughs> he's like, hey, remember that one time that you went to the doctors and they said that you had to take a couple extra inches off the dick because there's just no way you can walk around without back pain for years. And he's like, that's a strange story to tell. And he's, he's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to go grab a drink. Anyways, you have fun. 
I feel like when you listen to this song, like in future listens, like yeah. knowing kind of the story arc of the song and like listening to the verses as if it's like this dude who's in a very charismatic fashion, like it's legit a ballad. It's a proposal. It's like, yo, yo, like we're young, like and like one of the into the chorus, it's like it's like we can hum this tune forever or some some shit like that. And he like in one of the verses, it's it's like oh like they won't get it, like they're far too old and like we're far too young and clever. Like mm. it's totally painting. I think like no, no, no like, we can just go behind the gym, like legit. Like we they can like know. they'll have like we're way too clever. Like the grass grows high back there. Like <laughs> what I'll tell you this, dude, and this is my last thoughts on the song. Is that you said when I listen to this again, what I'll remember is that and it's not what I'll remember. What I'll remember yeah, is yeah. this is probably the first time I've ever thought, damn, this is a like qu- quintessential memory that I will revisit. Anytime the song comes on, I will be laughing about hanging out with you tonight, dude. That's freaking and sick. them and whoever else. Like this that's is just fun. Like, this, definitely, there's sometimes we like listen to music sometimes and we hear it and it's great and we revisit it and we make memories later. This is the one of the few times where it's like Ooh, this is now the song now reminds me of this. It's like stamped. Yeah, in time for sure. That's cool. This is awesome. Let us know how you guys liked it, and what are some other one-hit wonders we should check out? Because there are so many one-hit wonders that hit like as hard as this. I feel like. Cool. Like, they just came out the gate and boom. So let us know what those are, and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Peace. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna, if you had a good time watching that video, if you wanna upvote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff. You can't get on YouTube. 